Let me back off and show you figurine overload. Can you see all that? Those are a lot of figurines. Some old and some not. Hello, Mr. Unibrow Man. Look at this beautiful, elegant 1930s depression tidbit tray or sandwich tray with the Fleur de Lis handle. And it's like the only thing on this shelf. They're um, redesigning this particular thrift store. So they've moved shelves around. And this poor thing is here all alone. It's $4. You can see the beautiful etched pattern on it and it just it's really pretty I don't have a lot of luck selling these um, they're they're expensive to ship people are willing to pay the shipping that's fine but it, it is large and uh, I sometimes have trouble selling these so at four dollars that's a steal if you're gonna keep it if I'm going to sell it I could probably sell it for oh Twenty to twenty-four dollar range, so um, that's a possibility. And it's, as you can see, it's very large, twelve inch at least. Ew! Look, <laughs> even a nineteen seventies calculator. Hmm. This would match the kitchens of about ninety percent of you forty years ago. You know it would. Texas Instruments, remember that? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I love it. Actually, I don't love it. It's a pretty pattern, what do you think? Somewhat unusual, or not typical. Let's see what it says. If I don't tear it up. I've never seen it before. Oh, it's English. Doris. Oh, okay, do we have any Dorises out there watching? There's your plate, Doris. 
Now I know you guys are familiar with Peach Luster, of course, Anchor Hawking. I don't often find the uh, chowder bowls like this. I know a lot of you call these soup bowls, but here on the East Coast, we call everything like this a chowder bowl. <laughs> you know, because of the chowder that we eat all the time. So, yeah, I don't usually find these. $1.49. I don't collect them. But I kind of like them. Bye, Doris. Now look, folks, someone has gone far too far with this chalk painted stuff. Can you believe somebody chalk painted a, uh, a silver plated teapot? And look at this teapot. It's elegantly shaped. There's not a dent in it. Classic shape. Now, of course, it doesn't have a lot of value. It has no value now that it was ruined. But it's an old silver plated teapot. You can see the hallmarks underneath. So it's, I, I can't see very clearly. So it's probably, you know, it's quadruple plate or triple plate or something like that. Uh, I can't see because it's too small. But look how elegantly shaped it is. And you can see it had a nice old tarnished finish to it. I just, what can I say? I have to walk away. <sighs> well, I've just entered the clear glass or slash crystal aisle. You can see there's a lot of it here, so we'll see what we can find. Sometimes there are some hidden gems. Oh, I see. Well, this isn't really a gem. Oh, let me get down here and pick this up. There's an old Pyrex pie dish. See the old circular Pyrex mark? And it also has that slight, not as much as the example from last week, but that slight champagne uh, color or ginger ale color, I think I is what I said. <laughs> now these are English hobnail and this is uh, Westmoreland. Remember Anchor Hawking made it as well, but at the top of the Anchor Hawking there's going to be some banded rings. Uh, and I'm looking around to see if I can find anything with banded rings on it, and I'm not seeing it. But, uh, well, let's see, hold on. Similar to, don't get dizzy. <clears throat> Well, no, that's not a good example. Okay, well, I'll just have to insert a picture to show you the difference. I think uh, we've talked about it before. Um, and the Westmoreland does come in circular bases as well as square. And the, these, of course, are circular as opposed to the square. Do you know the crystal lags behind all the other colors? Green and pink does pretty well. But uh, the crystal just doesn't. So, I usually don't buy it. Oh, I did in the other aisle. You didn't see me, but I picked this up. You know how we were just talking, I think last week or the week before, about these um, sort of naked ladies? Now this lady, I think, has a skirt on. Or that could be, I don't know what that is. But anyway, here we have one, another one of these uh, half-naked dancing ladies. Now this is in sterling silver and it's pretty tarnished. Um, I might, in this case, try to polish this a little bit when I get it home. It's a green dish, depression, and we've got these dancing ladies around the outside. I don't recognize it as any particular pattern, but remember, this was used as a popular, uh, popular motif to be used in glassware, um, late 20s into the early 30s, that Art Deco era, you know, the jazz age. So, uh, this one I've never seen before. And things are pretty cheap in this store, so I'm gonna guess it probably won't be more than about a dollar. 
you can see this particular store how they price uh, all coffee mugs and clear glass okay so I'm not gonna buy the English hobnail gonna keep going and we see I know you spot some anchor hawking Wexford do you see some Wexford pieces and I know you see some uh, American by either Faustoria um, or cube by Jeanette it's kind of a neat candlestick back there come out of there I don't know that I've seen that one before but uh, this made the trip worth it for me <clears throat> this is an underplate it's either a small cheese and cracker plate or an underplate for a, um, a mayonnaise bowl because it because of that indentation so another bowl would have sat down in there which we don't have but I still love this plate okay that's really neat 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 and I'm not seeing anything on the crystal side over here I did just spot a mug that might be something. Well, it was before it was obliterated. Ooh, Avon. Boy, that fooled me. More clear glass. I think the lighting is kind of dark for you to be able to see, so you'll have to just kind of trust me on this. <clears throat> There's the Georgian pattern. A couple different companies made that. Okay, here we have some portal orphaned stems. That's an unusual size. Little water goblet. I like that. All in various shades of amber. How about that? And those are only going to be 50 cents each, poor little orphan things. I like this one, and I like that particular color of amber. So, oh, I might go back and grab those. <clears throat> I try not to say grab. I might go back and pick those up, put them in my cart, just take them home and put them in a cabinet and let them sit there for 10 years. What's this? That is yucky, yucky, yucky. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hazel Atlas. Wonderful. And it's four of them. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, this is a good find right here. This is Hazel Atlas Platinite. See the Platinite underneath? Uh, this is that uh, surface color, painted color. Um, and then it's fired again. It usually holds up pretty well. Great to find four of them in yellow. Great. Okay, so those are coming, and hopefully they're only 50 cents each. We'll see when we get up front. The lady here likes me, so uh, she's probably gonna charge me 50 cents each for those. And these are um, late 30s into the 40s. Hazel Atlas Platinite and okay we're not gonna wait for the kitchen counter we're gonna do it right now in the car okay so let's look at what we got uh, I spent six dollars and 39 cents and I'm gonna show you everything that I bought for six dollars and 39 cents now I'm only showing you one but you saw in the store I bought four of these they're Hazel Atlas fired on tumblers in the um, modern tone pattern these are little tumblers that would go with the yellow set Again, four of them, little juice tumblers. These are from the 30s. And um, they need to be washed, of course, everything does. A set of these, 
oh, I don't know, fifteen, twenty dollars. I had spent a while since I've since I've checked on that, uh, but they were fifty cents each. Also at fifty cents each, I bought two mugs. These are tableware mugs by Corning. It's Pyrex. I'll let you see the bottom as best as possible. Can you see that? Uh, you know, they were only 50 cents. I bought two of them. They're super clean. I don't see these very often. I have no idea what they sell for, but um, they're certainly worth the 50 cents. Okay. Uh, did I tell you I bought two of those? I think I did. You also saw this plate. Let's take a look at it again. Um, and I'm so glad. This was, She ch only charged me a dollar once we got it up to the register. Depression green. It probably will fluoresce and in uh, sterling silver all around the outside we see this wonderful pattern of the dancing naked lady very 1920s how do we know it's art deco and not art nouveau well skinny ladies with flat chests and short hair dancing like this with very little clothing on that's 20s Anything earlier than that, Art Nouveau, she would be very buxom, very shapely, lots of hair, um, and um, lots of curves. <laughs> the flapper look didn't come in until, uh, you know, after the war, after the Nouveau period. So that, that definitely puts us in the late 20s to the 30s. So I really like that a lot. And as I said, I am going to try to polish up that uh, silver just a tad. Okay, so that was a dollar. I bought this one lone stem. I really like the color of this particular amber. It's a little different. <sighs> Don't know who made it. I'll do some research. I might not ever find out who made it. There aren't any chips on the bowl. Um, it has a, an optic uh, panel here to the side. It's just, it's very wide. So I guess this would be being so large. I guess you're talking about an iced tea or a water goblet. I wish there were more, but I couldn't leave it there for 50 cents. Just couldn't do it. And then finally, uh, for one dollar, you didn't see this because uh, you just didn't see it. But uh, again, I bought a, a lone orphaned stem, gorgeous, elegant depression. Now you've seen, remember a month ago, I had the little watermelon glasses, which were green on the bottom and pink on the top. Uh, this was more difficult because you had to fuse these two pieces together and it was a little more expensive and this is definitely an elegant uh, stem. I don't know who made it but I want you to look at the etching on it. Isn't that beautiful and unusual? What kind of flower is that? Is that that lily of the valley thing again? or some kind of weeping something. You floral people are gonna to have to tell me. It was $2, but she only charged me one. I told you she likes me. And um, that, that's just beautiful. So I'm gonna have fun researching that. And you may say, well now, what are you gonna do with one stem? Well, sometimes stems like this could be worth $30. Even just one, uh, I think it's, well, I'm not going to say rare, but I, I think that it's a valuable stem because of the two-tone in the color and also the etching on it. It's just really pretty. And if I can't find out anything about it, uh, I'll just keep it. It's just a 
really beautiful piece of glass. Okay, folks, that's it. That's what I bought today for six dollars and thirty-nine cents. Uh, all right, hey, it's only ten forty-two. I've been up since four thirty in the morning. My shopping day ain't over yet, so let's see what else we can find. Thanks for coming along with me, everyone.